So lots of hype has been going on with a particular date on the calendar and this is the 22nd of December 2020. Now for those of you who may not be familiar with some of my earlier videos and my webinars, uh, I, I probably won't be describing this in detail in this video, but you might want to refer to some of these other videos uh, that I've done earlier in the year. They, they, they explain comprehensively why this particular date is so important. But here is the short version, okay? So what in, in all of those previous webinars, I explained how the world was going to make a transition from the Earth era into the Air era. And there is a dotted line that I've put on my timeline, bright blue in colour because we are moving into the Air era. And that dotted line is on the 22nd of December 2020. And of course, every day we are inching closer and closer to that particular day. And I do know that from the thousands of people who have watched those webinars, some people might be feeling pretty anxious and, and they might be feeling in your hearts, oh no, it's like, you know, May's been fairly, fairly on point so far. So now if she's been on point and is she going to be on point on the 22nd of December and what can we expect out of that date? So I make this video to explain to everybody, well, what you can expect to see and not see. Now, one of the misconceptions that many people have is that there is going to be an event on the 22nd of December. Like, some people could be expecting, I don't know, some kind of explosion or like a, a huge announcement or that, you know, some, somebody important is going to, you know, drop off the face of the earth. Now, there will not be, there will be no unicorns, there will be no dragons, not down in New York City, not in Jakarta, not anywhere. Okay, so now here's the thing, the 22nd of December is not an event, it is a threshold. It's like, it's like we are moving through time and we're just passing through like a door frame, going from one room to another and, and by that alone, it's not an event. So here's what you can expect and I think it's very useful to look back into history because this exact same situation occurred about 200 years ago in 1842. Now, what occurred on the very day that we moved from the fire era to the earth era? Well, here's the thing. Nothing actually happened. It was a normal day, just the day we wake up in the morning and we go through our normal lives, okay? But what occurs is that as a threshold from that date onwards, if you look into history, the industrial revolution moved at breakneck speed after. So when, when they had inventions such as um, like sewing machines or whatever and suddenly those machines were able to produce much much more than the world could have conceived before that time. Now when we look at 2020 and we look at 22nd of December as the threshold, so what can we expect not on the day itself but what we can we expect after the 22nd of December is that quite a lot of the developments that have been going on, the air developments are going to move at a much faster speed than you could imagine. So, for example, some of the things that we're already looking forward to are things like 4G technology. And uh, it's, we've been promised techno technological innovations that, that we haven't had, at least not in the last few decades. And my guess is that from 4G, that is going to very quickly move into the next technology and the next technology at a speed that is way faster than what we have had in the past. So be, be ready that any devices that you've had to buy, any 4G, well, 4G, 5G, 6G, who knows, okay? So these are some of the things that will move really quickly. Other things are, are we're expecting uh, themes like equality to move a lot quicker. Now we're starting to see like things like gender rights, um, human rights, animal rights, and all sorts of different types of rights. We've seen how Black Lives Matter has, has taken the world by storm in, in many ways. The Me Too movement, for example. And we're going to see this move so much quicker into the new world. Possibly new rules will come up. People will find new ways to relate to each other. And I think it's going to change all of our lives. And, I, I, and of course, technology is just going to infiltrate many, many other areas of our life. Uh, and I don't know about you, I'm really looking forward to it. For everyone who, who is panicking and you think 22nd of December might be a bad day, I'd like to assure you, please, nothing's going to happen on that day, but we want to look forward to how the world changes after. For me, I'm looking forward to it and uh, I'm, for all you know, if I make a similar video like this in the year's time, we could be recounting, hey, look what's happened 
just in the last one year alone. So looking forward to that and who knows, I could be presenting it by hologram instead of a YouTube video. And is this going to happen? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Okay, so um, I just like to wish everybody in advance uh, a happy new year. All right, we are moving into the year 2021 and uh, it's time to start looking at how we are going to make yourself more relevant in the new era. Make sure that you've gone digital, make sure you start to understand how important information and contribution to society and, and, and community is going to be. And uh, I wish you all the best in your new endeavors. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next year.